Just over an hour ago, the Democrat-led House passed the bill they say is designed to lower inflation. The measure was strongly opposed by House Republicans. They argue that the massive spending bill will actually increase inflation, partly due to a new tax on large corporations, new taxes that they say will be passed on to you, the consumer. The Inflation Reduction Act, as it's called, is now headed to the president's desk, but many parts of the bill actually don't have anything at all to do with reducing inflation. So what's in the bill and how could you be affected? Here's our National Verify team. For supporters typically on the left, the bill is being celebrated as a big win for environmental efforts and health care access. But critics typically on the right say it's full of overtaxing and overspending. So what's really in the bill? Our sources are Bill Hoagland from the Bipartisan Policy Center, Chris Edwards from the Cato Institute, the Nonpartisan Congressional Budget Office, and the bill itself. When it comes to taxes, the biggest change is that large corporations, earning at least a billion dollars annually, will have to pay a 15% minimum tax. It also enacts a 1% tax on stock buybacks, when a company buys back its own shares. The plan would also boost funding to the IRS. By $80 billion. Most of it going to enforcement will allow for there to be an increase in collection. With health care, the bill allows for Medicare to negotiate prices for some drugs and it creates caps on drug costs for those on Medicare. It puts a cap, which would be immediate, on the out-of-pocket expenditures that the individual has to pay at $2,000. The bill also extends financial assistance until 2025 for many enrolled in the Affordable Care Act, which would have expired at the end of this year. The legislation also involves environmental changes, offering incentives and tax credits for businesses for being green, for example, those that produce or invest in wind or solar. And it would also offer credits to consumers, like those with clean energy expenses, such as solar panels or who buy electric vehicles. It's really a cornucopia of, uh, of energy and environmental subsidies. Perhaps the biggest question here has to do with inflation and what the bill will actually do to curb rising costs. The Congressional Budget Office scored the bill and remember there are a lot of different factors at play here impacting different groups in different ways but ultimately analysts say the bill will have a negligible impact on inflation in the next year. With your Verify, I'm Abby Larico.